Hey guys, what I want to show you today is just some simple video editing concepts in Adobe Premiere Pro 5.5 and what we're going to be focusing on is slowing down the clip to create a slow motion effect. Now this is probably the easiest and fastest way of doing it, there are other ways that, but this is the one we're going to be using. Uh, this may work in earlier versions of Adobe Premiere Pro but um, as I said we're going to be focusing on 5.5 so yeah it's probably the same concept just some labels or uh, key bindings might be different. So I've already done the hard bit, I've imported my clip and um, now we're just going to find where we want to edit or slow down. So let's just use our timeline and scroll along and uh, if I remember my... F around here is one I want to slow down. There's a narrow shot here. This is uh, gameplay footage, you can use pretty much any footage though. So if I just go back a tiny bit, now we're going to press the C tool and that's the razor tool. And what the razor tool does if you go to your timeline and click once you've uh, selected the razor tool on the red line on the timeline that you've scrolled to as you can see it's cut the two clips in half so you now instead of one clip you have two now what we're going to do is use the timeline tool again to scroll forward to where we want our slow motion to end so just before here about there and I'm going to click just about on the on the line and scroll in on our timeline and as you can see from our original clip which is one piece we now have three separate pieces now press V to open the selection tool and let's click on newly created or cut out clip let's just scroll along to see so it starts here and ends just after the arrow shot there now let's right click the clip that we've made and go to speed slash duration and as you can see we've got a few options here now you notice this chain this chain will if you unclick it the chain separates and that means that you, if you change the speed or the duration they won't affect each other now if I click the chain as you can see they're in, interlinked so if I change the speed then the duration increases if I increase the speed the duration decreases now let's go for a let's probably go let's go for 35 I can just type in you can type in or use the scroll bar 35 percent let me just bring this back up 35 there we are and you have a few options here reverse speed we don't want to do that for this uh, tutorial but it's kind of obvious it reverses the speed of the clip we can also maintain the audio pitch or ripple edit shifting trailer clips clicking audio pitch is pretty simple it just maintains the pitch of the audio throughout the clip so if you slow it down or speed it up the, the pitch of the audio will stay the same and maintain ripple edit will, um, like if you cut the clip in into separate pieces and you slow down a piece or speed up a piece, if you click this then it will just keep all the pieces together so you won't have gaps in the timeline. And you can see down here that the, sh the, the length of the clip has increased to the 7 seconds that we increased it to. And now if we just scroll back a tiny bit and click play, this is the normal clip playback and now it's turned to our slow motion and you can see that the arrow's drawn and it's just, you know, there's, you can see that there's a lot more um, it's just slowed down completely, I think 35% we set it to so let's go back and watch it once more so this is normal speed playback and this is our slow motion it's a little bit choppy in the playback but once you render it it'll be fine and now we we'll jump back to our normal speed again so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, sometimes you might get a little bit of, like a little bit of choppiness between the clips when they jump back and forth. To eliminate that, you can go to Clip Video Options and click Frame Blend, and that will blend the frames, so just a little bit smoother. So let's click that once more, see if it makes a difference for our clip here. The transition into the slow motion, and now we're going to transition out. There we are. Yeah, all in all, it's a lot smoother and um, it's just a nice effect. It takes literally less than a minute once you practice it a little bit, and it's a nice effect to have in your videos. So, anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.